This week, we are looking at the historical criminalization and incarceration of black women. You may want to read Callie Gross's article first. It's a historical overview of mass incarceration of black women. And so it'll sort of give you the general background to what we'll be talking about this week. The other two articles are more detailed. One is a close look at a young black girl who was convicted of murder and executed in progressive era Virginia. The other is a look at young black women in a New York prison, Auburn prison. And both articles use stories, biographical sketches of women to illuminate black women's conflicts with the criminal justice system. I think you'll notice as you're going through here that a major theme from last week keeps coming up in the articles, and that's respectability. You're going to see both black women trying to use respectability as a way to defend themselves. You'll see white people using it as a way to judge black girls and women. And you'll also see it as something that can divide the black community. As you're going through this, you're also going to be struck by how black women were constantly faced with systems that were designed for black men or white women, often leaving them isolated and abused because they didn't quite fit. Finally, you'll find it very grim how the system was stacked against black women and girls at so many levels, from the pressure of poverty, to police surveillance of black neighborhoods, to the assumption of black depravity in courts, and finally, to the harsher punishments that black women and girls received after conviction. We can see how the structural injustice plays out in the statistics cited by Callie Gross. So I think you'll find this a powerful module, an interesting module, but it may also be a disturbing module. And there's going to be some discussion of some disturbing topics 